Okay, checking in. Um, we're in London. It's Sunday afternoon, about four o'clock, British summertime. Um, so far, the first day and a half slash two days has been amazing. Um, everything from hearing Jimmy Buffett's Far Side of the World when we were headed to the airport to hopping on a great flight, having a great experience with the British Airways folks, um, getting to play with some of their cool toys in the club lounge, and getting um, pretty much all the booze you could want to drink in the lounge and on the plane, uh, which made the flight very bearable. Um, it wasn't a big deal. We got into London this morning about seven o'clock or so and uh, made it to the hotel. We got a fast pass through customs. Um, so since we were in the club level, you just uh, bypass the line at, cut at immigration, turn in your form, get your stamp, off you go, go get your bags. Um, and then we made it to the hotel about 7.30, 8 o'clock to drop off our bags. The hotel has been really great. Uh, they took our bags. Um, they tried to get us a room as quickly as possible, so we were able to get in a little ahead of check-in this afternoon. But it also gave us some time to actually go ahead and spend in London rather than um, maybe taking naps or bedding down for half a day. So we got to see a lot of things today that it's almost like a bonus day in London. Um, we went with Jack and Dana. The hotel overlooks Kensington Gardens, which I don't know if you can see anything in the background of me, but uh, let's look. That's um, one small portion of Kensington Gardens near Kensington Palace. You can actually see they're starting to do work for the 2012 Olympics with the golden torch and such that will be here for the London Summer Games. Note to self, might be a good time to buy some London Summer Games souvenirs before they mark up the price two years from now. Um, but we went through the gardens, we got to see Kensington Palace, um, the Peter Pan exhibit um, slash statue there, the Italian gardens. We saw some double, de double decker buses. We saw some of the fancy British black cabs. We saw um, the um, hold on a second. Yeah, um, sorry about that. My assistant was helping me. Lovely assistant. Um, we saw what's called Speaker's Corner, where folks gather to kind of get on their soapbox and espouse their views. Um, I'm sensing everything is right with the world because there weren't any big groups assembled there. There was one guy whose name was Horse and he had like a, a fin or a horn coming out of his head, but he really wasn't, you know, all fire and brimstone. So uh, big fail on the speaker's corner. Uh, we split up at that point. Marin and I decided we would jump on the tube and uh, try that adventure. And because she's a much more experienced traveler than I am, it went pretty well. Um, had we been left to my instinct, we very well may have ended up in Ireland. Not Northern Ireland, mind you, but across the Irish Channel in actual Ireland. Um, we got to see... Big Ben, and Parliament, and Trafalgar Square, Trafalgar Square, we got to see the Eye of London, and really just get a sense of where we were, and where um, the things are that we're going to be seeing tomorrow on the Thames River, uh, then we went to have lunch which is probably the fifth or sixth meal I've had today at a British place called Maggie Jones's wonderful cuisine um, I had some pork chops and applesauce and who can complain about that 
everybody else had um, uh, the beef, and I think everybody is pretty satisfied in total. Uh, got back to the hotel, got a chance to take a shower. It's the first time I've done that in 38 plus hours, maybe longer. Um, so that was a good feeling. Now I don't smell, and I also feel like I'm ready to go take on the world again. No, so that goes away. it's, uh, like I said, it's 4 o'clock. we got a few hours till sundown. Not sure what else we have in mind for day two, but uh, we're off to a really good start so far. So, checking out for now from London, day two.